Hello everyone, welcome to another edition of Danny's Dishes. Um, last week when we got together and met, uh, I was talking about how I had finally kind of like gotten over those post-race blues, um, and really I did. And the great thing was that it, it really kind of needed to be getting them out being able to allow them kind of to flow through, to accept them, to not really like squelch them down. I mean, that's how I got to be an emotional eater to begin with. So being able to now know that it's okay, it's normal, a lot of people go through it really helps to kind of kickstart it. So this week has been completely different. It's been nice to get back to working out. Um, this past weekend, I went and visited my best friend in Portland, Maine, and we started nailing down that half Ironman training, um, and I proceeded to freak out. Um, and it's been a nice like three day freak out um, so far. Really nervous about what I've gotten myself into seeing the, the workouts and you know deep down I obviously know that I can do it. Um, I would not have hit submit and register had I not I don't think um, and so I know that I've just gotta you know do it and um, kind of pull up my big girl racing shorts, if you will, and just get over it. Um, but it's really hard every time I kind of take on that new activity to kind of swelch that inner voice that says, like, you're not going to do it, you're not good enough to do it, you don't deserve to do it, yada, yada. So kind of taking the time right now to understand, to kind of sit back, to allow myself to have the thoughts, but now really trying to work through and know that I can do it. So it's still that no matter what, you know, I was talking to someone the other day and that was saying that, you know, they're super nervous before a race. I get nervous before every race, okay? We did a local 5K on Sunday, which a 5K, thankfully for me, is not like a huge race anymore. But still, I was like freaking out. I was like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish. Like no matter what, those thoughts go through my head before every single race, whether it be an obstacle race, a 5K, 10K, half marathon, full marathon, whatever, I still get super nervous beforehand. So if you're someone that's like, I should not be nervous before this race anymore, it's okay because I'm still that way. And I think it kind of keeps us not necessarily grounded, if you will, but humble and knowing that, you know, this can be taken away at any time. And when you start kind of getting cocky, you know, that's when injuries can happen or we get sloppy or things like that. So I think having that little bit of nerves is okay. Um, or I just keep telling myself that. So if you don't believe that, that's okay. Like it gets me through and over the start line. It doesn't really matter to me. Um, so this week has been really about trying to get back to that good place. And I really felt that way. Like overall, you know, even if the run didn't go the way that I wanted it still was like you know what I'm healthy enough to do it you know I'm able to go back to spin and you know I would ever have thought that I would want to run a couple miles beforehand then take a spin class and be absolutely thrilled to do it um, I really think that I, I still am able to lead a Weight Watchers meeting on Monday night and I think it's the best thing for me because it really kind of sets the tone for my week you know I go in I get thoroughly inspired by these folks I mean they think think it's the other way around no like I walk out of that room wanting to go and be the best person I can be for the week and to do whatever challenge I set out I want to do it too because it's really you know I need to walk the walk and not just talk, talk the talk right so being able to, to feed off the energy, especially what the meeting has been bringing the past couple weeks, it's really motivated me to kind of get over whatever issues are happening in my head and kind of move forward and know how lucky and I truly am in the moment. So this week has really been kind of about a little bit about revelations, but also still knowing that I have those voices in my head that second guess everything. That no, you're not good enough. No, you don't deserve it. And even though... It's easy for me to say to other people, like, obviously you deserve all the good things. It's still sometimes I need to go into the mirror over there and tell myself the same thing. You know what I mean? So that's something that I've kind of been working through this week. Now, I used to do this all the time, and I got away from this, but a little product of the week. So I thought I would bring it back because this has been really yummy. These are flapjacked protein pancake mix, okay? Look at the directions. All you have to do is just add water. Even I can do that. 
right? We know that I don't cook, so this is cruel. So the cool thing is that each serving has 17 grams of protein in it. That's pretty awesome in a pancake. So this has been now like a nice little Sunday morning staple in the Holmes Kirk household. But if you go to flapjacked.com, you can get 20% off your order by using weight off my shoulders. So that's your discount code through May 31st. So if you want to go check them out, do it. Otherwise, have an amazing week and I will see you guys on social media. Love you.